Hey, we back up in this thing, fellas. Ernest. Yo. Samo. He here? I said, Samo. Samo's off today. <laughs> he decided to take a break. He had a PTO day, and he decided to utilize it. Samo somewhere in Costa Rica. He still get paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. I know you yeah, fucked. Yeah. You horse fucked, Ernest. You horse fucked. You know you horse fucked. Him. Him. I was wondering if you was gonna bring it up. You horse fucked him. <laughs> he horse fucked Ernest and went on a fucking trip and didn't tell Ernest shit. God damn it. Anyway, we still love you. Simon's not with us today, but god damn it, the whole crew is still efficient and proficient, man. Foo, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Sleezo, how you feeling? How you doing? I'm Billy Surreals. <laughs> 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 I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> Literally. I'm finna get on here and tell y'all all my story. <coughs> no, what's up with y'all? <coughs> man, tell it, man. Good to see you, bro. Man, I'm, in, I'm here on a family vacation. Hey, family bro. vacation. Had to get the fuck away from me. Everybody been on a family vacation had to get the fuck away from the, the family for a minute. Yeah, you just man. went off and walked off and just started doing your own thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the time. You went, you went and found somewhere to eat? I did it when I was 13 and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> My, my mama's still standing in the doorway like, is, is he coming back? Who you nope. did when you was 13? 13. Never turned around. I, you know what? I don't like the way y'all live it. I had to get away, man. We're going to get out of here. When you were like, man, come through and do the show, man. 8 o'clock, you're going to be out like, nigga, I'm already there. I was on the drive. I was in the drive the way at 3.30. Waiting. Waiting. They're like, man, you early. I'm still in the bed. Like, nigga, just Niggas station. Like, I'm in. in the studio. <laughs> yeah. I, done, I, I, got, I done turned the lights on. Like, hey, Sleazy, you from, uh, you from Nashville, right? I'm from Memphis. You originally. from Memphis. Let me share something with you. Because the first time I went to Nashville, you plugged me with Sibo, uh -huh. who came over. I ain't know Sibo. If y'all know, Sibo was a friend of the uh, podcast. He's intimidating. Came through with the weed. The nigga had on a tank top. <laughs> and he... He got a lot of muscles. Big ass nigga. And that nigga came through, because I wasn't expecting that. Tank top jeans, Timberless. Timberless. I said, Sleazy, <coughs> I need you to hook me up. I need to get some weed. Oh, I got this shit. I'm going to send up. I'm going to send Bo over there. He's going to come through. I'm like, all right, cool. That's because he around the corner. Nigga <coughs> came through, and we at the concert <coughs> in, uh, in Nashville. That nigga came through knocking on that door harder than a motherfucker. I opened the door like, like you had to get the wrong door. <coughs> Open the door like, hey, there. prison by the And he said, what's up, my nigga? I was like, keep my, I don't know who. Sebo is. Who Sebo is. I haven't met him. What's so going on, man? I'm like, oh, he got to be the weed man. He smell like weed. He got to be the weed man. Man, that weekend was an interesting weekend. Let me tell you why. We were doing three, five shows at Zany's. Mm. I met Zany's Comedy Club. Nashville. Nashville. Having a goddamn, anytime I do like them southern states, I go in on them goddamn little small cities. I go hard because they don't, I just feel like it's just, I just, I relate to They don't them. see y'all every day. Nah. Oh, it ain't they, like they LA. Appreciate. LA, they see you niggas walking there in the grocery store with y'all like, hey, hey D-Lay. Nigga. They appreciate you. <laughs> nah, nah, they, they appreciate like, it. They go goddamn it, D-Lay and damn food. Oh, gosh, they show so got, man, listen. Mm -hmm. They showing me love and then after the show I'm doing a meet and greet, I meet these two brothers, Omar and Bronson. Shout out to Omar and Bronson over at Made, Made Fitness. Made Fitness. Nigga, you know that's where my old lady work out at. Really? Okay, listen. What I'm going to tell you about this gym, Fuck that. you can attest to Fuck it. Fuck that. I went there for the challenge earlier this month, nigga, mm -hmm. and, threw, and threw up. True story. You get my old Bronson, you a, you a nigga. I went there one morning. He he, he knew. He said, Sleaze, where you going? I look, turn back, and he can, he'll tell you right now. I turn back and look and told Bronson, nigga, fuck you. Tell him how Bronson built. All them niggas cut. All them niggas is cut. They, they supposed to be in the NFL. But they just too old. They got bad knees. Niggas, but them, niggas, them, niggas, them niggas cut. Fit. fit. But they got bad knees. Omar and Bronson are talking to me after the show. They're like, hey, man. You and Nate, pretty, too. You pretty fit, man. You should come over to the gym and fuck with us. Now, I wasn't really working out. I just maintained my fitness. I wasn't working out like that. So I said, you know what? Where y'all boys at? Oh, we over at May Fitness, yada, yada, yada. I said, all right, cool. I'm going to come through. <laughs> he said, come through 7 in the morning. Now, I'm with B B me, Bill Bellamy, Ali Sadiq. They don't go that morning. I go by myself. Because them dudes is like, yeah, man, we need, to, you know, we need to hook up. I'm like, let's do the shit. They flexing like I can't fucking. Let's get it. 
I with this workout shit. See y'all goddamn muscles and shit. That don't wow. mean a goddamn thing to me. Bring them goddamn muscles. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Come on. We get into the building. They just warming up. I got doing a little warm-up shit. They tell you this the warm-up. This the warm-up. But I was like, you know what? This warm-up kind of hard. That's what I said. This warm-up is kind of hard. The warm-up is on like a, a level six. Nigga, they getting it. They getting it. The warm-up is most niggas mid-workout. Say, bro, we are doing circuit training. You are hitting one spot for one minute, and you hitting it. No hitting breaks. It. Ain't no breaks. You hitting that bitch. No water. Nigga, I am in there with 30 minutes in. Now at this point we own that the thing where you got the you know how you take uh <clears throat> the weight and you put it on the bar, the 45 pound, you just put it on the bar and you right here with it. Ha, mm -hmm. ha, ha, and you right there for the whole minute. Switch up. Ha, ha, ha. That's the 45 pound. Ha, ha. I said, I'm not gonna make it through this workout. I knew it. I it did. was going too hard. I didn't. They're going to, and they got music playing. They got every, it's about 45 people in there. Men and women. And getting after The it. women is getting The women mm -hmm. is more beastie than the niggas. That's what made me feel bad. I, I don't mean to cut your story. No. That's what made me feel bad when I walked out. I said, all these women in here killing it. And my bitch ass then threw up. Mm -hmm. In front of all these pretty women, including right. my woman. All the shit I talk about, all the ass I can kick. And I done threw up my woman in the head and did a thousand squats. Bro, I learned a lesson about <laughs> I learned a lesson about working out with niggas bigger than you. It's not a good idea. Mm -mm. Not at all. I'm in the in Atlanta. Uh, this is when like the UFC gym had just started coming out, and I'm down there. Uh, I'm co-headlining with Rob Stapleton. <clears throat> Rob Stapleton at the time. When I see him, he's swole. I'm, I'm like, damn, nigga, when you get that big? <laughs> Tony Tone hosted. Remember Tony Tone used to do the mm -hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger on the Comic View and stuff like that? <clears throat> he there. He, he does do a lot of impressions, yeah. Funny brother, good brother too, man. So we all hanging out. We go to lunch. They like, hey, man, that's, you want to come work out with us? I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I be in the gym, you know what I'm saying? I be doing my thing. So I go to the gym with these niggas, man. We do this like pro fitness like workout thing. I'm thinking we just finna go lift weights. No, this shit, nigga, we doing burpees. Right. We, <laughs> <laughs> all around the gym, some weird ass shit I had never done before. I didn't know what a burpee was. We on the ropes, we doing this shit. We got them throwing the ball up against the wall, catch the ball, put it on your chest, sit it down, throw it up against the wall again. We doing the shit with the bell, the cow, what, what's the shit I called? I did this shit yeah. when you do it with your, do it with your hips. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Push it up with your Push hips. Push it with your hips, all that. Nigga, nigga I'm not fucking that. this bell. Push the goddamn thing like I'm yeah, in the NFL. That. Like I'm at training camp in the NFL. I'm doing all of this. Then we hit the weights. I'm pushing the weights, pushing the weights, pushing the weights. Nigga, I come off the weights. We get on this. They like, you're gonna work your core with the pull ups. Pull up to your chest. If you can come down to here, that's better. I'm, yeah, I'm showing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get down, nigga. I threw up everywhere. Right there in the gym. Everybody looking like, oh, shit. They like, come on, you got two more. I said, no, the no, fuck I don't. Got. don't nigga. The two more right there. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's both two. of them. Is it there, right? Both of them right there on the ground. Whatever two more and I was finna Because I right stopped there. at that's eight. Two. I stopped at eight. Them niggas said, you got two more. No, I don't. Nah, nigga, both of them on the floor. I don't have no more. Man, I, I did the show like this that night. Fuck me. I couldn't turn. I couldn't, like nothing. Fucked up, bro. Hey, man, I'm in May Fitness, and they giving me the business. They giving me the business. I'm maybe 40, 35, 40 minutes into this workout. And I said, they said, all right, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a one minute break. I was like, nigga, that one minute, I could use it. <laughs> I, I need it. Nigga, it sounded like an hour. I was like, cool. Everybody went to take little huddles. Nigga, I went straight to the back, to the bathroom. I never forget what I had on. I had on all white. I had on white pants. Some, some white sweats, and some wh a white shirt, <clears throat> some white sneakers. Basically, you was an angel. I was angelic. I was <laughs> definitely angel. angelic. I was damn sure angelic. I go into the bathroom. Basically, you was an angel. I close the door. <coughs> I lock it. It was one of them. It was one of them <coughs> bathrooms like two or three people can come in. Yeah. I lock it. <clears throat> I lock that bitch. I, get, I take off all of my clothes, everything. A shirt, I take off the shoes, the pants, and I, I start throwing up. 
all of them. I'm throwing up in the toilet. The nigga was high. Nick. Somebody started knocking the door. Boom, 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 boom. Throw you all right? <laughs> I said, yeah, man, everything good. I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Give, give me a second. I'll be out in a minute. I'm stretching. What the ass track? I turned the water on to try to mask this, the vomit. It's throwing up. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Nigga, I get up. I start shitting. <laughs> I know I'm it. I'm shitting, I bro. Know it. I, know I don't know it. what kind of workout these niggas took me through. <laughs> They knocking over everything all right in there? Yeah, everything good? I'll be out in a minute, man. I'll be out in a minute, man. I'm just wetting my face up. Everything to loosen up. Nigga, listen. I get out of the gym. They was like, hey, man, shit, man, it's, it's over now. I stayed in there the last 30 minutes because I didn't want to fuck with them. I knew they was doing it. I went back to my hotel room. B uh, Big E, uh, Ali, he was like, hey, what, what, why you ain't telling us you were going to go work out? I said, man, y'all don't want to fuck with them niggas. Them niggas, they on some other shit. Ali said, no, fuck that, nigga. I want to go work out with him. No, he yeah. don't. So I no, said, you don't. know what, Ali? No, he don't. You right. No, he don't. got my bird. No, he don't, Ali. Mm -mm. He right. He absolutely right. He do want to work out with him. I ain't had my mind right. I wasn't fucking with these people on the right mentality. I said, Ali, let me tell you what we up against. There's <laughs> two niggas in there, Omar and Bronson, and them boys go pretty hard. And they train the tight. He was like, hey, nigga, we, I've been in that gym before. Let's get it. I'm like, cool, let's get it. Bill, you coming? I'm coming. Biggie, you coming? Fuck no, I'm not going with pussy ass shit. <laughs> All right, cool. Biggie not going. Dude, Everybody else going. Biggie. We get there. It's about 55 people there. It's on that Saturday. And they're doing a class before they start the uh, 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 the fitness, the, 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 the CrossFit. They're doing like a little class. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just, just a small class. Maybe, you know, it's, it's men, women in there. But they haven't started yet. We're like about 15 minutes early. Me and Ali walk in, so disrespectful. Right. They got a class going on. We pick a, there's a football lane around somewhere. Grab one of the footballs. Ali was like, go long. I run in through the middle of the class. My foot throw the football. And people's like, oh, uh, -uh what, is, what is going on? I catch it. I said, Omar, <laughs> Bronson, where are you? <laughs> If, if you think I'm lying, the people at May Fitness can tell you this is, they had, they had it on video. The cat got it on video. This is a true motherfucker. It happened. Everybody was in there that day, no happened. <laughs> I said, Omar, Bronson, Ali yelled out, where you at? We heard y'all want to get made. Come on now. Omar, Bronson. And they came Go long. He said, go long, d -Lay. I'll go long again. He throw that bitch out of nowhere. Stop. Bronson. <laughs> Catch that bitch. That nigga Avenger. He was like, uh, <laughs> y'all looking for Bronson and Omar? And I was like, and that's my I was like, oh shit, them niggas look bigger today. <laughs> they look bigger today. Nigga, they look bigger today. Hilarious. I man. said, okay. He <laughs> said, uh, hey man, uh, y'all interrupting our class. I said, yeah, man, we're ready to get this thing going right now. Y'all got enough work in. Let's get the work done. They wrap the class up. We start off being paired up with people. It's me, Bill, and Ali. Ali get paired with somebody, Bill get paired with this girl, I get paired with Tay. My girl Tay out of um, um, Nashville. Tay is a beast when it comes to that working out. Now she <laughs> is working out heavy every day at this point. She going hard. They pair me with her. Everybody's doing many things. Now they got a lot of shit out there this day. They got a big ass tire. They got a fucking sledgehammer. They got all kind of shit. The kettlebells, they got all this shit out there. We're training. I'm on the wall. I start off on the wall. You just standing, you doing wall squats. I'm struggling. This wall squat's in my ass. And I'm trying to keep up with taste. She digging in my ass. I look over at Bill, he's smiling and shit. He bullshitting. Bill is bullshit. <laughs> he ain't working hard. You know how you're supposed to work hard all the way to the last minute? Until the last second, right? Bill nah. bullshitting. I'm, I'm, I'm watching Bill bullshit. You sit in the tire, right? You sit in the tire and you got the hammer. And you hit one side. And you hit the other side. I'm watching Bill. Bill hit one side. Talk to somebody about some shit. Yeah. Hit the other side. He, he, he distracting people because he he's Bill building me. So he telling about his life story. He doing some other shit. <laughs> Ali over there. Me and Ali going out shit hard. <clears throat> we going all the way down to the last second. We working. You got the little, the little ropes out. You know, the little... Loop, you, you, the footwork drills, right? Yeah, let them trip All this shit is going on. Shit. We're 30 minutes into it. I look up. I can't find Ali. Where the fuck is Ali? I 
I said, I know Ali at. He in the bathroom. He in the bathroom. <laughs> Go to that bathroom, look in the bathroom. Ali ain't in that bathroom. He not in that bathroom. <laughs> he in the yeah, car. The Music is outside. Music is going on, loud, blasting. So you can kind of lose people. I go in the back, in back into the gym, I look outside, I see Ali behind a tree, throwing the fuck up. Oh, oh. I'm like, God damn it, they got my bird. They got they it. They didn't kill Ali. Somebody said y'all was looking for Omar. <laughs> Bro, son. I'm like, man, fuck, let me go out there and check on Lee. I go out there. I see Lee, I see Lee. He said, man, they got me. I said, I know they got you. He said, man, thank you for checking on me. I said, I ain't checking on you. I got to throw up too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I throw up everything. I said, hey man, listen, you know we can't go back in there. You know we cannot go back in that gym. Nigga, we went around the corner, called a taxi, nigga. And rode back Fuck y'all Uber, home y'all called a nigga in a yellow car. Motherfucking taxi, nigga. <laughs> Made fitness, man. Shout out to y'all boys. I went, I ain't even finished the whole workout, man. And I, I ain't even finished. I, once I threw up, I was in there laying down on the floor. Ernest, it's hard, nigga. It's hard. It's nigga. hard. I came in there and nigga said, man, what you laying down on the floor for, Sleazy? Man, get your ass up. I'm, I like, man, I got up, went back in there, tried, and then nigga gave a weak ass speech. Like, he said, all right, I'm gonna give y'all a break. I'm finna talk. Y'all don't want, y'all, y'all, y'all exercising now because y'all, y'all, y'all don't wanna have bad health. When y'all get older, heart disease, and yada, yada, yada. I looked at my old lady. I said, man, this is the best that this nigga can do, man, <laughs> to try to pep us up, man. I said, man, fuck you. <laughs> and walked out the door, and the girl tried to grab my arm. I said, look, don't touch me. I can whoop you. I can whoop these niggas. <laughs> no, I was just playing on with you. Said, <laughs> you sound you like me when a chick wanted me to give up my seat. But she offered me a seat with more leg room. <laughs> Bitch, I'm five six. <laughs> I, I, the last thing you can entice me with is leg room. <laughs> Fuck out here. That's the last thing I need. Bitch, I want this window seat. Fuck yeah, out of here. Oh, I almost did that shit in my drink. Ain't nothing wrong, man. Nigga done drunk a little ass before. Hey, you know what was crazy? I wanted to talk about the first time me and you did a Billy Sorrell's production together. <laughs> When we was in Nashville, <laughs> Nigga, when we, we shot the Preachers of L.A., uh, that one and the one we got stuck in Houston, fucking with Billy in a uh, in a uh, sleaze ball motel. <laughs> <laughs> now we spent all our show money because we was stuck in Houston, fucking with Billy. That I'm, was Nashville too, though. They don't, they it was Nashville a, show we was a well. hotel. I was, we was at your house first, and then me and Billy wound up in some bullshit ass hotel. Got the argue with my bitch. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. I was fucking with that. Nigga getting to this bitch, everybody gotta go. Everybody gotta get out there. <laughs> we had to go get a, a double room. We wasn't doing shit back then, so we got a double room. All of us in the room together, all three of us. It's two beds. All one nigga, one my nigga bitch got, put me one out, nigga she put them down too. One nigga sitting at the desk like this. <laughs> <laughs> We rotating out at night. <laughs> Fucking with Billy, man. Horrible, Billy, man. Billy, gonna, Billy Sorrell's production. Uh, Billy Sorrell. You're going to get paid, but there ain't no telling how you're going to get back home. The crazy thing <laughs> is, like, when we shot the preachers of L.A., everybody thought we was in the church. We did this shit in the funeral home. We was in the funeral home. <laughs> we, was in a, we was in a full-blown funeral home. In the hood. Don't like, turn the line. In the hood. And it was... It was the eeriest shit I ever did in my life. Like, Billy just was like determined to get this shit shot. He was happy. He like, nigga, look, we gonna get a spot, so we'll find it. So out of nowhere, I don't know who who, who got the spot. You? He did. He called around the funeral home. Finally, he get a spot. It, he like, we got a spot, man. We gonna do the show. We get there. It's a funeral home, bro. <laughs> When we pull up, I'm looking, I'm like... He don't tell y'all it's a funeral home. <laughs> no, of course not. It's, it's Billy. It's a cathedral in Listen, the let me tell home, you something. Bro. Let me tell you the biggest thing about <laughs> Billy for me. One reason why I never get upset when Billy do some shit or when Billy bullshit is because I've always realized the nigga's initials is BS. <laughs> yep. He gonna bullshit you. But you gonna There's get paid. I keep telling y'all, tell you, man. Paid. Fuck with Billy. You gonna get paid. gonna work it out in the end. <laughs> But there's going to be some bullshit involved. There is the gonna niggas' be. initials are BS, it's though. It's going to be. So it's uh, like it's I've always a... gave him a pass because of that. Do you know how many that? shows I've been put on and people t- told me? It was like, hey, man, I heard you come to Kansas. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah. Here, check out the flyer. Like, me and Billy going to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> Billy didn't tell me <laughs> <about> Kansas. <laughs> 
He did me like that when y'all came in there. But like, hold up. This is what Billy do. Billy hit me back. Billy hit me. Didi, what up, boy? I said, what up, Billy? Hey, man, what you got on the 14th? <laughs> the show you already booked me on, hey, motherfucker. I go with it. Shit. I ain't got shit on the 14th. <laughs> hey, man, uh, I'm trying to lock us down something that, um, on the 14th in the Kansas City. I'm like, all right, Billy. I'll right, get back with you later. But, all right, cool. But, they said, but this is how you run. This is how you work with me. And boy, hit me back. You got that money? Yeah, Billy. Yeah, man. I told you we was working it, man. I, uh, I was on them boys' ass about that money. I said, let's go and get the money. He sent me the whole thing. The whole thing. Three months in advance. Because he not, because he already locked something in. <laughs> so he got to let you know it's locked in because I ain't tell you it was locked in. Let me let you know it's locked in by sending you some money. Hey, it's a, man. It's a re-lock in. Bro, we pull up. It's a goddamn funeral. We get inside. They, they, they moving the cat. They move the casket out the room that we in. Is it a body in the casket? No, no. it's just a casket, empty casket. They move the is casket. Is there any dead bodies in there? Oh, it's dead bodies. I've been just saying, he ain't told that part. Took us down to the crematory part. Yeah, yeah, no, they kept. They took y'all down to the crematory part. <laughs> <laughs> Their food ain't good. Their food, don't, I don't even go to funerals. Like, so many people have died. I've been to two funerals it's in my life. It's the quietest place in the world. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not, well, not, now I've been to three, because I just went to a funeral with Billy in Memphis. And it, it, it was, it was, it was, it was different. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I just, I don't go. I can't deal with it, man. It's like, it's too much for me. So now I'm in the funeral home, and I'm uncomfortable as hell. Dude that run the funeral home, in mine, Opinion, yeah, and I'm sorry if you don't if you work at a funeral home and you feel offended. I apologize, but I just feel you got to be a little creepy to work in a funeral home anyway, or be or be able to deal with like you know he creepy that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I worked like, at a funeral home. You, oh, I in know Vegas. you a little we'll get creepy. to it in Vegas. Just thought about that, man. Keep going. So the, I forgot about the, that. The nigga keep asking us. He worked at a funeral home. My bad. Keep asking us. Hey, do y'all want to go down to the crematory? Why would we want to go down to the crematory? What is fascinating about that? To these niggas, yeah, that would be nice. Oh, well, y'all go right ahead. Now I'm, I'm see fucked what up happen to me. I'm fucked up though because everybody went down to the crematory. I'm sitting in the goddamn <laughs> in the room where they just took the goddamn casket out. I'm sitting there by myself. <laughs> First of all, that cathedral in this for niggas that don't have a church home. Yeah. If you don't exactly. have a church home, that's where your funeral going to be. Yeah, uh, exactly. So I'm sitting in there by myself, chilling. Sit there for a little while. <clears throat> Sit there for a little while longer. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not sitting in here by myself. Hey! <laughs> walking through the hallway. Hey, hey where y'all at? Where y'all at? Yo, where y'all at? I open the door, walk in the room. Boom! Dead body. Ah! <laughs> Casket open. You know what I'm saying? They done just finished making this motherfucker up. I nigga, walk right in the room. Like, oh, oh no, 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 no. Now I walk out. I close the door, right? So I walk out. I'm looking. Hey, sleeves. Uh, Bill. So text. Phone. Dead. Ain't shit happening. Dead zone. Wherever the fuck we at. Ain't shit working. It's a horror movie for me now. <laughs> <laughs> My phone don't work. I done walked in on a dead body. Everybody that disappeared with the creepy funeral director <laughs> to the crematory. Now nobody's answering me. So I'm like, all them niggas dead. They all dead. They, they come back upstairs. These niggas got um, choir robes and shit. And I'm like, man, where the fuck y'all get all that shit from? <laughs> and gave they us everything. Back. Because he, there was a new funeral home opening. So they felt like, shit, we'll let y'all family here just give us a credit. Or tell people where y'all was at. So they mm -hmm. ain't get no fuck. They looking for some new dead niggas to come through that thing. Nigga, we shoot the preacher shit, right? We get the pole in, we get up there. We shoot the shit. I'm weirded out the whole time. We get done. We get done shooting that. Billy decides to shoot a whole nother skit. He wants to shoot. This nigga, you know how this nigga is. He's, he's got them. Uh, 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 Since we're here, we might as well do this. Uh, what's the nigga name? Uh, Scorsese. Scorsese. Yeah, he turns into Scorsese, nigga. Now he want to do everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. We can shoot another sketch. I got an idea I just came up with. All right, what is it, baby? <laughs> I just came it's up with It's your homeboy funeral. He was, we at, a, we at your homeboy funeral. <laughs> niggas saying, niggas saying crazy shit. Who gonna lay in the casket? <laughs> Who gonna lay in the casket? That's when shit got. <laughs> That's when the record stopped. Ew. I'm like, nigga, I'm not laying in that motherfucker. And here's where people stop believing the story. <laughs> Yeah, Ross said, I'm going to go on and lay in that motherfucker. Man, the niggas say, who going to get in the casket? 
I said, man, you lost your goddamn. Cause he looked dead at me. You lost your goddamn man. I said, hey man, we've been friends. I don't play for about with seven them. years. We ain't never had an argument. I'ma beat your ass today, bro. <laughs> we gotta fight. And here, we gotta fight. If you think I'm getting that goddamn. If I'm the candidate, oh nigga, come on, bro. No, I'm come on, fool. Jump on, go on, jump in. Bro, I'm not foreshadowing none of this shit. I didn't, fuck you. Right. Somebody else gotta get in there. The nigga raw. He got in that goddamn cast. Say, I'm gonna get in the cast. And he said close it to see how it feels. Oh, you up. tripping, nigga. Our nigga said close it, too. He said he close it, let me see how it feels. With the suit on, nigga. I closed it. And he he throws up the forks like a GD while he landed. Like he had a hood funeral. Man, you got to lay there. Go watch, the, go watch this sketch. He lay there, all, like the whole time while we shoot the sketch, we all walking past. Talking to him on our way out. Everybody said. Billy beating on his chest. Yeah, Billy that's, doing that's a, It's a funny skit. <laughs> But it's eerie as fuck. It's eerie as fuck, bro. Y'all had to be in the funeral. I could home, not do it. I, I, it was, I, I was weirded out enough by the fucking preacher shit. Because when they say, like, he'd be like, cut, all right, that's cool, cut, and everybody quiet, it's nothing. It ain't nothing. Because we don't even know where the people that own the funeral home went. Because right. after we started filming, we ain't see them no more. We ain't, when we went left the thing, they went there, it's like, they were fucking ghosts too. All of them, exactly. Like, like they, like they part of like we on tales from the hood. All of them that, look this like this ain't the terror dome <laughs> neither. <laughs> we thought we, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> we thought we were dead too, nigga. This ain't no funeral home, motherfucker. <laughs> Welcome, and it ain't the terror dome neither. Hey, bro, I worked at a funeral home in Vegas, bro. Okay, give it to me. Vegas, I didn't, I wasn't balling at this point. I don't have a job. But I'm going to church and I'm getting my life right this with the Lord. Dead. That's okay. most. That's what's most important. I'm getting my life right with the Lord. I remember telling I was going through something. I said I don't even want to. I'm practicing abstinence. Remember the last time abstinence. He got his life. Did right you have with an abstinence too? Listen to me, guys. Had yes. Delay okay. went through this yeah. trial. Yeah, we Fool. know you went. You I should have been on trial abstinence. for the bullshit you did. I. Actually, was praying to God. I was like, God, don't even let women come my way. Don't let them say nothing to me. Just keep them out of my way. Lord, I just want to be right with you. I meet a lady in the church who's a playwright. Her name is Miss Michelle. She had a play by the name of, is, the name of was, is this man your husband? Is that man your husband? Dope ass play. She put me in it. Okay. Is that man your husband? Is that man your husband? You should know. It was dope. She, I think she wrote a book. She done a lot of stuff with it. So anyway, she says, listen, you know, I like you. You, you know, you, you, you need a job. My friend Andre, my cousin Andre can hire you. Andre make good money. All I knew was Andre make good money. That's I see, all you care about. That's all I can give a fuck <laughs> Andre I see Andre, Andre at church <laughs> every money. Sunday. That's all a nigga need to hear. Clean. Had a nice little whip. Andre used to be clean, suited and booted. Andre, I think Andre was a little gay. I think on no, Andre was definitely gay. Speaking of Andre, <laughs> speaking of Andre, he was definitely because I, I just remember something happened. Ain't nothing wrong with being gay though. No, no, he that's was your, cool. That's your thing. He was cool as fuck. Most gay people funny to me. He, he never came out as being gay, but he had, I don't know, he, he, that's not the whole point. He was a really cool guy. <laughs> so he says, "Hey man, my, my cousin Michelle says, is your number? You know, she to give you a call. You needed some help with some employment." And I was like, yeah, man, and by the way, man, you always clean that church up. She was like, thank you, man. I can, you know, she tell you the spots I can go in Vegas, you know, you knew around, tell you where you can go shop and get some suits like this. I was like, man, that's cool. She said, listen, man, I need a hard work on my team. I was like, man, look, I'll do anything. We all say that. We trying to get a job. And when it comes to hard work, man, I'll do anything. I got you. You broke. Fuck it. He says, hey, man, his address, meet me here, <clears throat> give me the address. I go, it's a funeral home. Why he like, didn't tell you all that? Nobody told you that. No, I don't even know what we doing yeah, there. It, 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 all of that elude, all because of that information was Because if they had told you it was a funeral home, you was going to turn down the job. Probably wouldn't have went there. That job, man. Right. All I know is months. Andre make good money. Andre make good money. Well, That's I, enough for me. If Andre's selling cow shit, I think I'm, this story is going towards Andre do makeup for the funeral home and do hair for the dead people. Nigga, that's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, gay. I mean, what else, I mean, what else would a gay dude be doing at a funeral home? No, me. bitch, I'm sending you to heaven. I hooked me. Flawless. I hooked me. No, okay. <laughs> no. Andre runs the funeral home. It's his shit. 
Oh, it's his. It's his shit. Right. shit. My bad. I take that back, Andre. I'm so sorry. Andre <laughs> comes in, and I'm like, oh, she was a funeral. I'm about to go. I'm, I'm going to work at a funeral. I ain't working the fuck. I'll go in. Nigga, I ain't feel like no paperwork. I ain't know nothing. They were paying him he cash. He was going to pay me just straight cash. So I was like, I ain't mad. He's going to pay me $1,000 a week. I was like, nigga, that's, that's shit. A, I'm good. You can't beat that deal with low shit. $1,000. That's four grand a month at this point. I'm like, man, I could take that. And I'm trying to do some comedy. My comedy ain't doing shit. Yeah, let me get that. I'm with it. So he was like, hey, you ever worked at a funeral home before? Yeah. No, I ain't never worked at yeah. a goddamn funeral home. Yes, I have. Never worked at a funeral home before. He said, all right, well, listen. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. He That's tells us the things guy. we're going to do. You know, you're going to be taking care of the dead. You're going to be, you got to clothe them. You got to help get them in the casket. That's going to be your main thing. I don't want you to, you know, just look at their appearance. Make sure his tie is straight. Make sure it's, so I was like, uh, well, no, no, no. Well, you, you what, actually what had to name? put you had, Andre. You had to Andre. actually put each pant leg on. Like, Andre, I appreciate you, brother, and uh, I'm about to go and walk up out of here because I'm not gonna do nothing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing none of that. What about you work at the front desk at the funeral home? Yeah. I, what about I, the brochure may, guy? Maybe, but I'm not. I'm not finna be. But paid. if hey, you the brochure guy, what they be like? You got to lock up the night down. I'm not finna put a nigga suit though. I'm not finna. But what they say you got to lock up the night? Listen, check it. I get that the next morning. I'm at work, first day on a job at the funeral home. They got these bodies in oh. a room. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? What was that? The Holy Ghost. Hey. What was that? Well, that shit just made me feel weird as hell. Yeah. Man. Dress them up. Hey, nah, Rob, nigga, I would have freaked out. He dead, walks me into this room. Toes. It's a room full of <clears throat> caskets with dead people in them. Um, it's about five caskets in there. Some of the lids are up, some of them are down. So I'm, I'm trying not to look at the dead bodies, nigga. I'm in there. I'm just right here the whole time. You're trying to look there. at them. You got to put their fucking clothes there. on. Nigga, I'm just still, I ain't going to look at them. I ain't gonna look at you, man. <laughs> I put your goddamn clothes on, but I'm not looking at you. You staying professional. Hey, you got your auntie pseudo like this. So these these people are already ready to go. They in the casket. So I remember he was like, yeah, give Miss Jean. Now he's talking like these, like I know these motherfuckers. He's like, yeah, get Miss Jean over there and slide her over here. We're gonna work on her next. Mm, mm, and I'm mm, like, mm. all right, I ain't never did this before. I never wanted to be fucking with funerals. I don't want to fuck with none of this dead shit. Life is for the living to me. I get the casket, I move it over to him, right? He was, oh, they done messed her up. Open it all the way up. I'm like, oh, God damn. <laughs> this nigga said, open it all the way up. Nigga, I ain't never seen her all the way up. I ain't never seen it all the way up. This, this Aretha was been, all the way up. This would have been me. After, 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 after it was opened, opened up all the way, I would have been like this. <laughs> nigga, I'm like, pass out, nigga. What is this? I opened it up, right? So he was like, we're going to have to take her out. I'm like, oh, I ain't never I think he no fucking with you. No, no, he's serious. He's professional. He's about his shit. <laughs> they didn't do something right. We got to take out. So I'm like, all right, cool. He was like, all right, you get a feet. I'm going to get a head. I'm like, oh, oh my shit. God. So we get out. We get Miss Jean <clears> out, <throat> right? So we got her, like, against a wall. Stood up against the wall, right? Stood up against the wall? I'm still there holding her. And he, <laughs> nigga. God damn it. He got Miss Jean posted Bro, I got Miss Jean held up like this right here. <laughs> and, he, you know, he's fixing the, and he was like, okay. That's it. Let's get it back in. We get it back in, and I'm like, man, I don't know how long I'm gonna do this goddamn job. We move Miss Jean into the next room because she her funeral is like maybe in a couple of hours. So he says we got a man in the back. He said we're gonna get Mr. James and we gotta get him dressed. So I'm like, oh my gosh. The family brings whatever, you know, whatever clothing they want him to wear. So he comes on. He was like, he put all the shit there and he wanted me. He wanted me to get him dressed. So he's laying down. He's, just, he's not in the casket. He's laying down. He wanted me to get him dressed. So he had a suit, shirt, a tie, pants, drawers, socks, and shoes. So and bury you underwear? First of all, I wasn't putting the goddamn drawers on him. That's just extra work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't finna do extra work. You got draws. I wanna know. Ain't nobody gonna know you got these draws. Or the socks. They out. Throw them bitches out. Shoes either. Throw them bitches. He ain't getting buried with these goddamn shoes. I'm not putting them on him. Ain't nobody gonna see that unless you open that bitch all the way up and we ain't opening it all the way up. <laughs> you ain't never seen the casket open all the way up anyway. I ain't never seen it all the way open. Never. Nigga. Unless you're Aretha. Hey, bruh, I'm, I tried to put this dude pants on and I was like, man, I, I can't do this shit. I need to go get Andre. I go get Andre. He fixing these motherfuckers. He getting these motherfuckers beautified. He like, he love his job. I'm nervous of being around these dead people anyway. I, I'm just, it's just creepy to me. But this your first day, man. 
Man. What? It'd have been I, go, I said, day. Andre, I need you to help me, you know, in the other room, I need you, Mr. James, I'm struggling with. He was like, ah, come on. I'm like, nigga, this is my first dead body. I ain't never worked on no goddamn dead body by my fucking self. It's my, it's my first dead body, nigga. I ain't never fucked. <laughs> this is my first time styling the dead. Nigga, my first time styling the dead. Never styled the dead. It's like, dead. It's like put clothes on a newborn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. It's like putting clothes on a, on a newborn. Hey, bro. You know, they just dead, nigga. Like put these hey. look, put these goddamn socks on these bald up feet. Come on. Oh, you know, dead, you know, he never seen nobody dead hey, feet, bro. but don't feed us. Man, I, I didn't seen people get shot, all kind of shit. It's just like being around a dead person at a funeral <clears> is so much different. It's like, <throat> uh, like that shit First weird. Of all, that Nigga, when you walk up on a dead animal, it freak you the fuck out. It's like, oh, shit, it's a cat. <laughs> like, a dead a person in that fuck. cat, that ain't, the, it ain't the person no more. They didn't took their blood out and put them in bomb and flew. That, yeah, that shit weird, man. That's like, jer- that's jerking now. I, this is my first day on this job. I don't even, I don't, I've never done this I before. I think I'm never. about to throw up. So he getting upset with me. <laughs> 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 he can't even talk about it. <laughs> so you went through it for no kind of money. Let me get through this dead ass story. Love, man. So it, listen. That's a fear factor for you. I'm trying to get this dude, and Andre's frustrated with me. I'm like, man, I can't do this, bro. He got him up. He, now he's up. He's leaning over my shoulder. I'm trying to pull it. It's too much. He dead, man. Dead niggas is heavy, bro. <laughs> So you got the dead nigga over your shoulder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you putting his pants hey. on like a nigga that's paralyzed from the waist up. So you getting Teddy Pendergrass ready <laughs> to go out for the night. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. That's too far. Hey, bro. Y'all say it ain't no such thing. Way time. out of bounds. Okay, I'm hey. sorry. Way out of bounds. <laughs> now, what was out of bounds is you should let a nigga swallow whatever he's drinking <laughs> before you say some big shit like that. I have no problem with what you said. <laughs> Get the nigga on You said after I was swallow whatever I'm drinking. Because <laughs> that was t- almost t- over. I'm trying that to put all balls shit. everywhere. Hey, bro. When I'm putting Mr. James' clothes on, I'm like, I'm quitting this bitch. I am not gonna make it to this <laughs> bitch. Said, dead niggas heavy. We finished up that day, bro. The rest of the day, I ain't fuck with no bodies. But they had a big day, a lot of funerals planned up. Our day started at 9 o'clock. Bam, first funeral was at 10 o'clock. I had already quit that job when I left. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I had already quit, nigga. At 9 o'clock, Andre's calling me, blowing my goddamn phone up. I won't answer. <laughs> then, um, um, Miss Michelle, Miss Michelle called. She called. Me. She was like, Hey, Andre's been looking for you. What happened? I was like, oh, man, Andre didn't tell you about yesterday? <laughs> she was like, no, what happened yesterday? I was like, well, I had to dress Mr. James. <laughs> I had and to do some work. I had to do some work. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do, wasn't trying to do that. Mr. James. Mr. James is clearly heavier than what I thought he was. <laughs> and, and, and dead weight, dead niggas is heavy, clearly. So I can't, I can't, I can't go back to the job. it. <laughs> She I said, so you quitting? I said, whatever y'all want to call it, nigga. <laughs> what he said, you know what happened yesterday, like, like some shit that don't go on the funeral homes happened. <laughs> <laughs> she got the phone like, what are you talking about? You know, Ain't that the normal shit that happens? That's the normal shit that happens. Hey, now, but let me tell you, you know what happened. This is different for me. She waited for this nigga to say, yeah, the body started blowing up. It was a dead body. Just out of nowhere. You ever work retail? No, you know it's dead body. You ever work retail? So, so, so. You had to get that mannequin dress. It was a dead body. I don't know if you know. There's dead bodies in there. Oh my God. so I, I get deal with it. So I get to the furniture store. <laughs> <laughs> and it's furniture everywhere. I'll be damn. It's furniture if everywhere. And they love seats and sofas <laughs> all over the goddamn room. Okay, who the Can fuck you believe they got that section that had a curry paw to it? <laughs> uh, bro, I worked at a yeah. funeral home. You made me you just made me think about that shit. Who put all these end tables <laughs> in this <laughs> goddamn <laughs> furniture <laughs> store? <laughs> <laughs> fuck would do wow. some shit like wine. this. Where that wine at? I think damn uh, fool killed shit. it. I know, I ain't kill it. It's right here. Did you miss me? Yeah, I man. I wanted to say, I just wanted We're to say. Shout out to Andre, man. Andre, I appreciate you, man, hiring me. I quit that first week. I'm and sorry. Andre the Champagne, if you want to put us on, you know what I'm saying, we'll, we'll start sponsoring man. y'all, too. We don't give a fuck who's sponsored. Now, you yeah. want some Andre's from $3.99? They fuck with, they fuck yeah. with our kind. 
sponsors. That is a fucking brunch champagne. Yeah. Uh, Sleazy, uh, you, you do cocaine? No, I ain't never done cocaine. Hey, what type of... Lot of Texas shit. <laughs> no, I don't do coke. Uh, I, sm I smoke a lot of weed. Uh, I look me from this. Shit. I <laughs> oh, you want to know? Pop okay, we're going to go there. Well, I ain't never done cocaine, but I didn't. I didn't pop every pill across this goddamn map, but I gave my life. I don't do this shit no more, though. For real, though. Ask Billy. Billy tell you, nigga. Ask Billy. <laughs> oh, that's the nigga, but Billy a lie, too, though. But. <laughs> but that's my nigga. But. But. No. <laughs> I gave my game. I gave my. I don't, young yeah, niggas, man, get off this shit, though. This is me telling you. Ask that shit like the police. Fuck them people. Hey, you man. ever done cocaine? What? Nigga, <laughs> I, 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 nigga, throw these years off. Damn, look, 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 the, the, the shit that make you sleepier. Mm. Yeah. And you still be trying to function. I guess that was the thrill of it. To pop a Xanax and still get in the car and fall asleep when you get home in the driveway. Your mama tapping on the one. Get your ass up. Yeah. I guess. That's the, the thing fall asleep is, at the light with your foot on the gas because you drunk some syrup. Everybody didn't had that experimental period. I made mean, the foot on the brake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I felt, like, I had that experimental period with, like, with Molly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and don't, like, Billy exaggerates, okay? If anybody did as much drugs as he tried to act like a nigga do, we would not be able to do anything that we do. Nope. We'd be somewhere fucked up and dead. He really doesn't do heavy drugs. <laughs> at like at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. a, he's an exaggerator. He really, yeah, he really does. He's done he likes, some. Yeah, he's talking about accumulatively. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done some. But come on, man. There's no way I you can up. function. <clears throat> The way doing it, the way I know it, cause shit, we I, have a good time at times. When I was turning up, he wasn't turning up. Exactly. And now he turning up. You know so it's man? like get on your but ass. It's, like and nobody's ever glorifying it. I it's don't. just we've all had that I, period. You I know just know do weed like, now. And it's like it's crazy because you talk about it to like let other people know. Like, hey man, I had that moment. You know what I'm saying? And this is what happened when I did it. And a lot of time it's some dumb shit when you're on drugs. Some it dumb really shit is. happens. I, I got put out of a club. I mean, that's the least of the shit that used to happen to me when I was oh, in no, 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 because I didn't tell you why. The only <laughs> upside of, of sometimes with them pills and surf and shit like that, like them Lord Tell and all that shit and Xanax, man, you going to give a bitch some dope dick. Mm. I done made some bitches that squirted and they didn't know they were squirters. You get some bitch some Xanax dick or some surf dick, you can bring the best out of them. They know it, but you gotta hurry up because you're gonna be you're gonna be sleeping. <clears throat> no, no, you don't. No, or, no, you just be no. you just be in there. It's like a, you be tunnel vision in that motherfucker. Your dick ain't going nowhere. You gotta damn near be a chemist because you gotta know that. You gotta time that, that right. See this, yep. you know, see this the thing. There's a thin line between dope. Well, when it comes to dope dick, because there's that dope dick where you fucking all night, <laughs> off like a Molly or ecstasy or whatever the fuck. And then there's that, that, that thin line where you cross over and you done did too much and you got the noodle dick. Yep. Yeah, so it's That's when you mean, add the alcohol to it. Yeah. When you add alcohol to them pills, you gonna give her that elbow. Is that a <laughs> the, the elbow macaroni. Yeah. Or that gonzo nose. Like, you know, that guns don't know, it's, it's heavy hard. It's, it's like that. Like, you still get mashed that motherfucker. The mash, that's where you got to push the back. Hey, that, no, hey, that, you, but that guns don't know to get the job done. That's where you got to squeeze the back. Yes. That, that guns don't know. That, you, you think guns don't know it hang over. What is this podcast coming to? <laughs> what are we doing, Ernest? Where are you, Simo? You done gave her that guns though. Can't do shit without you. Whoa. He said, give it that elbow. The elbow, the elbow. macaroni. <laughs> it's heavy. It's got a little hook to it. Hey, bro. With, with that guns on. The, the, we were like, well, what he going with that? The elbow <laughs> macaroni. I think I've never heard giving a girl the elbow in my <laughs> life. And when he said it, he, he said it. I said, well, make purpose. The the somebody elbow get it. The somebody elbow macaroni, man. Hey. Macaroni. Hey, women, y'all done got some of the heavy dick sometimes. You be like, what's wrong with him today? He was too drunk. 
Yeah, that's when you that's when you squeeze the back and let the head bump, yep. blow up. Niggas be like, I'm giving that head Ma- dick. You sitting over there drinking, there. and she done procrastinated coming over there. She came over there at four forty five. You done drunk too much. Now you yeah, <laughs> you giving her that gun though. Man, I remember one time I was with a chick and I took <laughs> we was we was taking Molly. And like I just knew it was gonna be the night of my like the night of my life. You no, know, it, it it just didn't go right. I took a little bit too much. So now how many you take? I don't know. It wasn't cause like we wasn't taking capsules. We was taking it like like she had it in a bag like fun dip. <laughs> and that sprinkle, that sprinkle will get you. They'll fuck around and give it to everybody Boy, in the booth. She pulled that shit out. I was like, what? What the fuck is that? A satchel of sugar? She was like, nah, she put in her gums like some snuff. This, this, the Molly. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I do, I do a little bit. So I take it, a little pinch. It's nasty, the mother. Yes. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Do a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm chilling. Start feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, whew, you know. <laughs> Like, you know, sitting there talking, just like, this won't stop, though. I'm, I, I just can't stop doing this. This, this, this is just amazing, and like, while I'm sitting there. You know, and uh, you know how when you do some shit and you like, well, I ain't really high. Like, you're like, you know, I, you know, I don't feel nothing. But you doing something weird. You ain't noticed. You ain't stopped doing this shit for the last hour and a half. You just, <laughs> you been rubbing the fuck. You been like, rubbed the hole in your her. pants leg, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't really feel it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should take a little more. I take a little more. You know what I mean? Now I'm sweating. Took off some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there. Uh, you know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I'm pressing your thighs. Rubbing the fuck out of them. I don't know if I'm feeling it. You know? Because you don't know it kicked in. You forgot you took it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's hot. Ain't nobody else hot. <laughs> I don't know if I'm feeling it. Maybe I should take a little boat, man. But before I know it, I'm high as a motherfucking kite, man. I'm fucked up completely. I'm and like me and her sitting there, we talking, we talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking into the wee hours of the motherfucking morning. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody done no fucking. Yeah. Just talking. Just talking. Heavy talking. Talking and tugging. Heavy talking. Talking and tugging. Like, keep talking. Because you, you going to keep touching and pinching your dick. <laughs> 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 they pinching that little Yeah, thing. so, yeah, you know, I, like a wet I was with, uh, shit, I was doing this, man. You telling all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is just going and going and going. Nigga, it's finally time to get down with the get down. I'm doing everything in my power to get right. this motherfucker ready. He's not cooperative. Dead Dick Dennis. He's not <laughs> cooperative. What's rating. his name again? Dead Dick Dennis. Dead I'm using Dead Dick Dennis, nigga. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You gotta put a cord in. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, it's over for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, nigga, I'm talking about, I'm, I didn't eat pussy until my tongue numb. I've done that before. Because I'm trying to compensate. Yeah. Because this motherfucker's noodle. It's a girl I'm, here in L.A. that can say bro, that happened to me, her right here, right now. I pulled his, I pulled and tugged on that motherfucker so much. Slinky dick. Oh. The, the jack out while you eat it, didn't, the combination didn't uh, work. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know how when you get, when you don't want her to know you ain't you ain't getting hard. You want her to think you just like eating pussy. Yeah. That's when you pull the pussy <laughs> to the edge of the bed and you get down to where yeah. like your chest is at the at yeah. the mattress right. level, the so she can't see yeah. you down there. The she can't see you down there pulling like a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> shit. It's like a tra- <laughs> it's a trap door. It's under the bed. You yank it like a motherfucker yank. trying to get this bitch together. <laughs> it got semi hard, kind of leading to the side. Then like, you try to hurry up and put it in there. Your, your dick, your dick doing this. It's like, hey, bro, what is wrong with y'all? What is, what is wrong with these people? 
<laughs> that moment when you get too high. When you get too <laughs> good. It's dry. It's, it's dry. It just keep it just keep falling back down. Like, ah, a real bitch, a real really. bitch will understand though. Bruh. I understand. That's what's she ain't so tripping cold. if y'all rolled it together. She ain't tripping. Yeah, if, so she, if, she, if she doing the double with she gonna be like, That's what's so cold about this chick, man. That's what I'm getting to. Nigga, I'm I'm nothing's working, man. It's going bad, bruh. This month. How long you been at it now? Huh? About how long you been at it trying to get this dick up? Oh. At least 30 minutes. A <laughs> <laughs> <Our> sitcoms. <laughs> at least 30 minutes. She <laughs> spent a sitcom trying to get this dick up. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Never. It's like. You ain't never ate a motherfucking pussy so much they tell you to stop. Yeah. Hey, look, I, okay, that's all right. That's that's not. I don't even really like getting my pussy. Ate. Like, hey, bro. Like, oh, what the fuck? Now, I gotta get up and face the music, cause she. Re ah, I'm ready. Give it to me. I get up there. And, and Gay her dick. Jelly bean dick. Hey, just, yes. Just, look, no, hold on. Just give me one second. Just give me one second. Then after I go back, I go back there. She like, uh-uh, I'm good. You ain't got to do that. That's no it. More. So I'm standing pulling, pulling. You know, I'm, look, I'm looking at it. Sometimes uh, you just got to give up. Look, like, look, let's watch a movie. I'm sweating like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sweating like a motherfucker. This is cuddle. Bruh. She, she say, <laughs> she see how hard I'm sweating. She say, lay down next to me. Yep, see? <laughs> she said, just lay down. <laughs> just, <laughs> you wanted that pussy, but you couldn't go down. <laughs> she said, just lay Saving down. Saving Ryan's privacy. Just lay down. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I lay down next to her, nigga. <laughs> 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 you got a problem. <laughs> 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 hey, bro. I don't know what. Hey, bro. Hey, what is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> hey, come get this nigga, man. <laughs> this nigga tripping. <laughs> Man, I'm telling y'all, man, I done been through that, man. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It's a girl it, out there right was, now. It it's it's about control. three of them that I really, really look, just really wanted to do. I couldn't do it. That dick wouldn't do it. I was overexcited for one. Okay. And the other two was too, too, too drunk, too high and too drunk. But that first one, you look, I'm in a, I'm in a solid relationship no, right now. No, go and get it out. It was you, old. Go get it, it out. Shepard in the past. You owe me that pussy. She, now, I, I, now. I'm, I'm better than that. Now, you now, can't, now, ju now, you now. can't judge me off of that. Mm -mm. Now, should I tell him now or should I let him go to get down the path? You can't judge well, me. Give it to me. Give it to him. Go and give it to him now. Go and give it to him Before now. you head down this path. Okay. Come on. Come on. I need you to understand that the way Did You Miss Me works. Okay. If you're not going to be able to tell this story. Come on now. Without giving us the name we're gonna involved have to have in this story. We gotta have it. We're gonna have to have that they young gotta lady's have name. Look at them. Look at their faces. Look at them. They looking at you right God now. God damn it, I can't do this one, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit! Since you already sat down. You know already sat down. I said shit. The people invested into you now. The people already invested into you. <laughs> gotta have it. <laughs> gotta have it, Sleazy. Come I on can't do that, man. Come on, Sleazy. You can't can do, do it, bro. Hey, listen, this is the past, bro. That happened in the past. Mm -mm. That's why I'm this. telling you before you head down this path. Now, which one can you do and give us the name? Out of the Gotta three. Have. You told us it was three. So, uh, of the three, if there's one that you can give us the name, don't you, you well, go that, you can head down that way. Don't tell me not all. Don't tell me all three of them you can't do. One of them married. Mm. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> one of them. No, I'm talking about one of them was married when it happened. So you didn't have to tell oh, us that. She was married when it happened. You, you, you didn't have to tell us that. Still ain't got shit to do with us. Still ain't got shit to do with us. I gave her that oodle and noodle in the back. What's her name? In the back room uh, don't of, don't tell us the story of a weekend. Because we used to run this hoop. Don't tell us the story. I can't get no names. I'm going to say his name, and they're going to laugh at home. Okay. And we don't want you to be in this category. Esau McGraw. Yeah. What about Esau McGurn? Don't worry about it. We need that name. Come so on, whatever story you Sleazy, tell us, on, it needs to be one where Gotta you can come off with that name. God damn it. I can't, man. Oh, you can do all things with Christ who strengthens you. We believe in you. Come on with it, Sleazy. Did it wouldn't get hard for mm -hmm. just i I'm okay, man. Come on, Sleazy, you can do it. Hey, but listen. Tomorrow Green tries to stick a finger in my can, can, Hey, can, can I... Can I say can I say first name, not be, last name? You can't be. Yeah, you can. Do, yeah, oh yeah, you can you definitely do, do that. Listen to me, tomorrow Green. 
And people didn't reach out to me. This, <laughs> this, 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 I can't believe y'all motherfuckers look, doing this to this, me, man. But but look, but because but I'm so let proud. Me tell you, let I'm me, so proud of what the pussy is like. They're like, hey, okay. Huh, 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 let me tell you about Billy. And, let me it. tell you about Billy and D-Lay. They get you down here. They do. They, they, they get, do that. They get you comfortable. Yep. They get Start you drunk. Drinking. Yeah. You have a, and, you and have say a, talk to the you people. Have a little, a, you have a little man. weed, and then talk you get comfortable. People, and the next thing you know, you done ruined your life. Yep. But, man, listen, bro. hey, man. Jamar Green is out there. And he always goes, that's his go-to. That's his go-to. Jamar Green. The one, the one that did. So you got, you got to give us, that. we'll take the first name, right? Yeah. We need that name. We need that name. Okay, bro. man. The girl that got me, and I gave that noodle to her, and I ate that pussy for 30 minutes, like you said. Mm -hmm. And I did the uh, the jack out below the bed was Daria. Daria? Yeah. What city she from? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have it. Gotta motherfucking have it. She go without the last she name. Went, have it. We she let, went, the, she, we let she, the last name go. Nah, oh, she, she went to college with me. Fuck uh, this man. Fuck nah. this she, she went, it was in Nashville, so. Was Tennis State? Yeah, that's it. Hey, well. Well, they're going to look it up. We Don't make no mistake about it. I swear to God. They, they finna be all through Facebook. They gonna look up. They finna find. Somebody just found it. <laughs> somebody that's just found not, it. That's not even a common name. Somebody make just no found it. it. And that's why I didn't want to say nobody's name. Oh, it's over with. It's out there. The other two, I'm going to tell y'all off air. But, I, one so, of, but on, on one of them, I redeemed myself. I'm going to tell y'all Oh, no, you always got to redeem yourself. If, if You can never... Go there. And she didn't let me yourself. though. But but the only thing about it, she she remained my friend. She ain't, this actually, I pro, she probably never told nobody. And this is me telling Sneezy, everybody. How about this? Hmm. How about we hold that thought, and we tell our Patreon subscribers, you want that name? We need it for the 20, 20 tier, the Patreon subscribers. Get on over there. That's what the name gonna come out. Of. <laughs> that's what if you're not subscribed. Of. That's what other. That's what other. That's what the other two gonna come out. Woo! That's where you get the other name. Hey, listen, some of y'all starting, y'all getting your mind right. It's tax season. <laughs> some of y'all done got y'all money. Do right. It's already, right on, it's already on that little card. Find out page. where the name's at on Patreon. Find I got y'all. I got you. Hey, okay. listen, I want to share something with y'all, man. Uh, this girl reached out to me. It was a rocky, rocky relationship. I really contemplated even telling this story. Okay. Because we ain't I think got it's no still sensitive. Reason. Not on my end. I don't, I'm good. I'm good. Delay good. <clears throat> it happened in my college days. Mm -hmm. Now, you know I was a wild boy. Of course. I was out there in them streets. I'm sure. I'm sure young Delay was way crazier than... Making love to a lot of women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was making love to some women. Okay, that's what we'll call it. Yeah, wow. Making <laughs> love to a lot of women. Now, I've got this girlfriend at the time. Making love to the men in like a thick tape. And at this point in my life, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with this woman. Hmm. I love this woman. But you're making love to a lot of to women. To a lot of women, I'm making love to them. Plethora. So, but you love her. Oh, I definitely love her. Oh. Now, in the yeah. midst of me making love to all these beautiful women, I said, I'm gonna meet my match one day, and I did. Met this girl from Port Arthur, Texas. <laughs> Chanel, don't ask me shit. Oh, I, I was just don't ask say, me you shit. wanna ask me shit. Don't ask me shit, <laughs> Chanel. I was gonna give Sleazy the pleasure of asking. Good, girl. I hope you're doing good. Congratulations to whatever's going on in your life. This was for you. d Lady got a lot of bitches punched up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> d Lady has got a lot of young ladies. Uh, beat up. <laughs> I'm serious. Like you, 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 you destroy a lot of households. Hey, look, come, come watch my friend on uh, this podcast. It's, it's on YouTube. Come check it out. Uh, uh, all right, Sasha. Uh, yeah. 
Sasha. Yeah, so Sasha uh, Mayweather. <laughs> Suck my dick on the bus so for two never, hours. So y'all ain't never got no from, dudes from Paducah, Kansas. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. Definitely. You goddamn right we have. So, and if yeah. you want to know the names, <laughs> subscribe, to subscribe to Patreon. This is for our twenty dollars tiers, right? If you're in the two dollars tier, you can get. I hope you don't get mad at me, man. No. I'm gonna get in trouble. No, but go ahead. It's go ahead. I'm sorry. It's, it's over. over. It's over. It's it's over. It's let that go. Hey, bro, let that go. That, that's it's, gone. It's like therapy. Let the thing yeah. go, bro. It's therapy. Let it go. That's what this is, man. So, she don't think she We be. saving souls. I meet this girl, Chanel, and I've got a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm in college, so when I go back home, I don't like to bring a lot of my stuff home because you got black hair, you got all these different people that they'll steal my shit. They got a lot of clothes. <laughs> and I'm still in the area where people will steal DD shit. So, I said I'm going to leave all my clothes at my girlfriend's house. I leave all my clothes. I have like five bags of nice shit. Suits, shoes, designer clothes, all kind of shit. Nice shit. About five bags. So I was always independent. I've been on my own since I was 12 years old. So I was just bounce and leave when I choose and I don't tell nobody shit. So Chanel lived in Port Arthur, Texas, PA. She says, I want to see you. I was like, God damn it, I want to see you too. Because <laughs> I had made love to that woman. I made love to that woman. I just had sex. I had made love to that woman. You niggas can have sex at home. I make love to these women. So I'm doing that. She says, come see me. That's right, cool. So I get on a Greyhound bus mm -hmm. and I travel about five hours. I think it's about five hours from Alexandria to Port Arthur. Mm -hmm. And I don't give a shit. I need to make love to this woman. I get to her town, go to her place, and I'm spending two days of my life in lust. I am in lust, Sleazy, making love to this woman and enjoying my <laughs> life and doing what I need to do to make my soul feel good. But where your five bags of clothes at? My five bags of clothes <laughs> were at my girlfriend's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they are. Keep on going, though. I'm having so much fun. I've not answered one call from my girlfriend. Mm. Not one. This That's is the girl with the five bags of clothes. Five bags of clothes. This is day one. No answer. <clears throat> Second day, I said, I need to answer this phone call. As much fun as I'm having making love to this woman, I need to answer this phone call <laughs> and talk to my girlfriend. And love to she calls. I said, hey, what's up? She said, where are you? I said, you know, I went out of town. She was like, you haven't been answering my phone call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just hung up. <laughs> With your fat bag? I just went and hung up. On the other end. Because there was nothing I was going to be able to say to stop this woman's anger anyway. And I didn't want to hear no more. And I didn't want to prevent or start any more anger that was in her heart. Anyway. I just hung up. I ain't nothing good in conversation. Nothing's coming out of this conversation good. I hang up the phone. And I decided I'm not going to answer this phone. I'm not going to talk to this woman until I get back to Alexandria. So I get back to making love. Ain't no sense to argue. I'm already going to argue when I get back to the crib. Let me go and fuck up in peace. <laughs> Will you let me fuck up in that's peace? That's actually a good. That's the way I look. Hey, I let me fuck off. up. I don't argue. I don't argue twice. Why? I'm going to just wait. I'm going to get my one off and then I'm done with that. I'm not coming back around the circle to do this shit again. I'm not tap dance with you. I'm not. So I get back to this lady. Having fun, <laughs> making a lot of love, and time is winding down. I need to get back home to reality. I think I but, just left here for like I, seven seconds. I'm what, back. But you back? Hey, man, welcome back. You welcome there? Back. Huh? Welcome to Did You Miss Me, man. That's a good I place to be. podcast <laughs> in the world. Sometimes I, you got to time <laughs> travel. I came back, I was like, I don't remember this. You like the little boy on Umbrella this. Academy, nigga. Yeah, I was <laughs> <laughs> like the little nigga on the Umbrella Academy. So check it. I am wrapping up this time with this woman. I got to get back home. I'm going to get on this Greyhound bus, go back to Alexandria, go ahead and argue with this woman when I get there. I explain once I get there. But right now, let me just live in my bliss. So the whole five hour bus ride back in, pick up the phone. I did pick up the phone. I pick up the phone to call home. I want to call my 80. That's <laughs> what I want to call because they haven't seen me. <laughs> Call my Annie. Phone ring. Ring. Hello. 
I was like, hey, who is this? Fuck is wrong? This is Didi. Oh, boy, don't play with me. This is Didi. I'm like, yeah, this is Didi. What's, what is wrong with y'all? Lord, we thought you was dead. <laughs> we thought you committed suicide. <laughs> The police and dragged the river and everything. We seen your clothes in there, your ID. <laughs> they thought you jumped. <laughs> what? They thought you... This Didi for real? Yes! <laughs> why are your clothes in the river? I, why am, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> why are my clothes in the river? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is my auntie talking about? Five, Five bags of clothes. Oh, nigga. I didn't see that coming. This man. girlfriend of mine and took five bags of clothes and threw them bitches in the Red River, which runs into the Mississippi River. The police then drugged the, the goddamn river. They came back and told my auntie, we done with the search. We calling it off. We about to pronounce him dead. My nigga gone. He's out of here. We pronouncing, we pronouncing him dead. He's out of here. Bro, oh, my family man. think I'm dead. Y'all been keeping up with that insurance policy we had on DD? Oh, my auntie got insurance on everybody in the family. <laughs> hey, y'all been keeping up with that policy, right? Everybody yeah, 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 you yeah he real. go, he go. We about to cash out. What you mean he on the phone? <laughs> he on the phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> that ain't him. <laughs> that ain't him. <laughs> I, don't I don't believe it. <laughs> Five bags of goddamn designer believe. clothes. Nah, it ain't him. Floating out the Red River, River, which goes Listen, into the Mississippi, the Mississippi River, River, which A goes River. out into the specific, no, the Atlantic. Never mind. I am <laughs> on my way back to Alexandria. I am hot. Hot. I call Close my in girlfriend. The river. I'm like, hey, what the fuck did you do? She was like, what are you talking about? Bitch, you know what I'm talking about. Why did you throw my clothes in the Red River? Why did you leave with that bitch? That ain't got nothing to do with my clothes. <laughs> Why did you what? Why did you leave with that bitch? I was like, that ain't got nothing Why to do with my clothes. Why did you leave with that bitch? I was like, you know what? I'm going to deal with your ass when they get home. Get back home. Nigga, my family grabbing me. They hugging me. They're like, boy, we thought you was dead. What's going on? Was you dead? Like, first of all, for them to think you jumped, was you dead like low in life dead? I was happy than the motherfucker. They was like confused. <laughs> it was like, how the fuck is this nigga killing himself? Everybody needs to jump. <laughs> this nigga said I was jumping the motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. I was skipping and whistling. Skipping and motherfucking great. whistling. What y'all niggas talking about? I'm good. I'm like, man, what is going? Nigga, Tim was like, what is? I said, uh, I said, uh, I said, oh man. I said, Drika threw my clothes. Her name was Drika. Drika threw my clothes. I say, y'all do nice say In the rip. Yes, nigga. Through my clothes in the river. Drink, is it the same drinker that was fucking uh, Kevin Gates? Mm. All right, never mind. I don't think so. So, <laughs> so my family's, my whole family's at the house. Everybody, everybody there. Black guy and that bitch, black guy. I was like, nephew, we thought you was gone. <laughs> I was gonna wear all your shit. I knew it. I knew it, black guy. I knew it. <laughs> I was gonna wear all your shit. Hey, bro, listen. Everybody sitting around, and it was like a sad moment. It was like, you know, we kind of reflect, like, man, we could have lost Didi. We could have lost him. Bebo's living at the time. Shout out to Bebo. R.I.P. Bebo. Bebo was a nephew. I never thought you were going to check out before me. I said, no, man. I, I just kind of got caught in some mess, man. I'm sorry I put y'all through that. He said, hey, nephew, listen. I done put you through a whole lot of shit. <laughs> and we were roommates. <laughs> he was eight and I was 40. We were roommates. <laughs> And he looked me dead in my eyes, he said, <laughs> did you miss me? God damn. We took y'all around the world and dropped y'all ass off. That was an exciting episode, man. I'm D-Lay. It's your boy, Damn Fool. And I'm Derek Shalise Evans, man. Hey, man, thank y'all for tuning in to another fire episode of Did You Miss Me? We couldn't do this shit without y'all. drink some of this goddamn Andre's. They gonna I did drink some. No, I'm drinking out the bar. Okay, okay, I'm going to drink it. They're going to eat ass up in the As the creators go. They ain't going to let me get ate up by myself. We getting ate up together. We was drinking this Andre's together, goddammit. Nigga, I walked to the store with you. <laughs> the fuck you mean?